Okay, so I just read about this new markup language called Pawmel, and it totally blew my mind. Really? What's fascinating about it? Is it just another language or something deeper? It's way more than just syntax. Pawmel actually organizes prompts for AI in a way that makes developing applications easier. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So, like, how does it help with the common confusion around prompts? It uses this structured markup, kind of like HTML. It allows you to define roles, tasks, and even embed data. Wow, so it can manage different data types seamlessly. That could save a ton of headaches. Exactly. Think about it like having a filing system for AI prompts. It just makes everything so much clearer. Right. And I love that visual element. It's like taking chaos and turning it into something organized. Totally. Plus, there's a CSS-like styling system so you can tweak how things look without changing the core logic. Wait, that's wild. So developers can be creative without messing up, right? Exactly. It separates content from presentation. That's a game changer for prompt engineering. I can see this having huge implications for how we approach AI tasks. What about the templating engine? Oh, the templating engine is another level. It supports variables and loops making complex prompts more dynamic. That's actually kind of exciting. It must allow for way more creativity in interactions. Definitely. Imagine creating prompts that can adapt based on user input dynamically. So it's not just static instructions. It evolves based on how the AI or user engages. Exactly. It opens a whole new world of possibilities. But how do you start using Pawmel? I'm glad you asked. There's an extension for Visual Studio Code that makes installation a breeze. Ah, so it integrates smoothly into existing workflows. I love that. Yeah, and you can test prompts in real time while developing, which must help debug issues quickly. That's a massive win. Can you imagine how much time that would save? Totally. Developers often spend so much time just figuring out prompts. For sure. I'd love to see a demo of this in action, just to wrap my head around it better. Same. Watching how it manages data types would be super enlightening and seeing it in real-world applications could spark some creative ideas. Honestly, this might change how we interact with AI on a daily basis. Oh, to think the future might have more user-friendly AI tools because of this. It's exciting to consider. Where do you think this could go in a few years? I mean, if it gains traction, it could set new standards for AI development. Definitely. I can see a shift toward more accessible AI tools for everyone. It's like opening the floodgates inviting more users to experiment and innovate. Exactly. Imagine the creativity that could bloom from that. And it's all thanks to this structured approach. What a wild ride. I know, right? I wonder how many hurdles we'll see overcome because of this. And just think about the communities that might form around this new way of prompting. This whole thing has me super curious about what else is on the horizon. Same here, it's like each revelation just opens up 10 more questions. But that's what makes it so thrilling, right? The journey of discovery. For sure. I'm excited to dive deeper into Pawmel and its possibilities. Me too. Can't wait to see where this leads and what we'll create. Let's keep exploring together. I have a feeling there's much more to uncover. Absolutely. Here's to the future of AI and all the innovations to come. Cheers to that. Now let's schedule a time to experiment with this. Yes, I'll bring the coffee. You bring the ideas. Deal! We're on to something amazing, my friend. Couldn't agree more. Here's to discovering together.